Canada's trip to the World Cup has come to an end. The team is heading home without a win, having lost today to Morocco. Canada did get a goal, but it was an own goal scored by a Moroccan player. The ball was deflected by a Moroccan player and ended up in his own team's net. It still counts as a goal for Canada, but we ended up losing 2-1, to one, wrapping up the Canadian men's first time back at the World Cup in 36 years. Watching it all unfold was Joshua Cloak. He's a staff writer for The Athletic, who is in Qatar. Joshua is also author of The Voyageurs, a book about the rise of Canada's men's team. Josh, how are you doing? This is not the outcome Canada was hoping for, but what about their spirit at the game today? Look, I thought their spirit in the second half in particular uh, was great. You know, they go down 2-0 um, in particular because of some poor goalkeeping and some poor defending. And a lot of teams would probably throw in the towel at that point. But, um, you know, Canada's resilience has certainly become their calling card as a team. And I think they've tried to really close that qualitative gap that exists between really good teams like Belgium, Croatia and Morocco uh, with that resilience. And, and, and that's what they did. There were some good tactical adjustments in the second half. But to me, it was that ability to, to, to fight back that really stood out. But ultimately, again, it's that qualitative gap and that experience that teams like Morocco have that Canada doesn't have that I think was really the difference on you know a night like tonight and ultimately throughout the entire World Cup. Yeah, and they must have gained so much experience from just being there, right? How would you describe their overall performance in the tournament? What did they get right and how does it set them up for the World Cup in 2026? Look, Canada came into this World Cup with a few goals. They wanted to be the first team in Canadian history to score a men's World Cup goal, to play fearless football, to get a result, and to get out of the group. They scored a goal, they played fearless football, but they didn't get out of the group and they didn't get a result. So I think, you know, objectively, you do have to call this World Cup a bit of a failure. And you have to hope that come 2026, they'll have the confidence knowing what these games are like and they'll be able to know this is how we close games out because that's not what they showed in this World Cup. Canada automatically qualifies for the 2026 World Cup because the games are in North America. Do you think we'll see many of the same players then and some new rising stars? Yeah, absolutely. If you're Canada and the Canadian coaching staff, you have to feel bolstered by the fact that your best players right now are your youngest players. Tejon Buchanan is only 23 years old and he was Canada's best player throughout the tournament. He should move even higher up the football ladder. Alfonso Davies, only 22. We know what he is. He's Canada's best men's player of all time. Uh, Jonathan David is just 23, and he should be at a top 12, top 15 club in the world. And that kind of experience that those players are going to garner is going to help them in 2026.